Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Vlogmas. Today, the vlog is gonna be all about recipes and some cooking. So if you have a sweet tooth, this vlog is definitely gonna be for you. Today is the 23 of December and usually it's where my mom and I do like all the recipes, all the cooking and I am responsible of making chocolate mousse from scratch, sweet rice and I'm also gonna be making some homemade eggnog and hopefully I am gonna be able to give you guys the recipes if you want to recreate them I am gonna be completely honest they are super delicious so you should probably try them being that said let's start with the cooking so the first thing that we're gonna start making is sweet rice that's the recipe that's gonna take you the longest probably around one hour and these are the things that you're gonna need so what you're gonna need is two liters of milk preferably whole milk you're also gonna need some rice sugar and some water now the thing about Portuguese when they're cooking is that we pretty much eyeball everything and it's pretty much everything to taste. So besides the two liters of milk, the whole measurements are going to be a little bit of an eyeball, but I'm going to try to explain to you guys how it goes. So for the measurement in the rice, guys, I use a cup that kind of looks a little bit like this. You can see my mom's reflection on the window. <laughs> Since you just fill this little cup. Then I'm gonna add one and a half cups of this size, guys, to the rice. And now you want to cook the rice, bringing to a boil and basically just make regular rice. And we're gonna stop once the rice is fully cooked. Now that the rice is fully cooked, we're gonna start adding the milk, but there is a trick to it, guys. You're gonna have to slowly add milk. You kinda will have to let the rice soak in the milk, and only once you see that the rice is looking on that more soaked consistency, a little bit thicker, that's when you want to add the other part. So I would say maybe try to do it by cups, so you put one cup, let it soak, Put another cup let it soak and that's how the process is gonna go until the end pretty much so this takes a long time because also while you add the cups you have to keep stirring your rice so you're gonna get an arms workout because you have to keep stirring it keep stirring it because if you don't your rice is gonna stick to the bottom of the pan so make sure you keep stirring at all times Sweet rice here in Portugal, guys, we call it arroz doce, and it's a very traditional recipe. Uh, this one in specific is my grandma's recipe, except she uses like fresh uh, milk and like whole milk, and we didn't get it because we forgot, but um, originally her recipe is like that, but all the technique was also her teaching me. Um, but it's a very, very traditional Christmas recipe. So, an eternity later, guys, here we are once again. Your rice should be looking something like this. And what you want to do is to stop the stove and now we're going to be adding the sugar to taste. As the sweet rice starts cooling off, you will notice that it gets thicker and thicker and that's what we really want. Now 
Now that we finished the sweet rice, all you have to do is transfer it to another bowl and you want to let it cool off to room temperature and once it cooled off to room temp, you want to put it in the fridge. And then you can add some cinnamon on top of your sweet rice and serve it. Okay guys, now we're gonna go to our second recipe of the night and that's homemade eggnog. And for that, you're gonna need four eggs, one teaspoon of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half teacup of milk, and one teaspoon of cream. I will be doubling the recipe most likely because we are a lot of people. Uh, so you can do that as much as you want. You just keep doubling or the triple or quadruple, whatever you want. <laughs> also, you are gonna be doing this in a blender. Not like me because I am not using a blender because we don't have it here. My mom has moved recently to this house so she still doesn't have all the gear that she should so i'm gonna be using a little hand blender but you should be using a normal blender the first thing you gotta do is blending the eggs for 30 seconds Then you're gonna add the powdered sugar and blend it for 20 more seconds. Now you just need to add the leftover ingredients and blend for 10 to 15 seconds. After that, the only thing that you need to do is just put it in a nice and pretty little bottle and it's ready to serve. It's better if you refrigerate it before serving though. Hello guys, this is 4.20... <laughs> Laura, it's actually 4.20 p.m. a.m. which is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, so I really wanted to do the chocolate mousse unfortunately it got really really insanely late as you might see it's 4 20 it's legitimately 4 20 um, and yeah so I will be still inserting the clip of the of me making the chocolate mousse but you'll see that I have a whole different look to myself <laughs> because I'm gonna have different clothes. It's gonna be a complete different time of the day. Um, so, yeah. For the chocolate mousse, you will need 200 grams of Baker's chocolate, six eggs, six tablespoons of sugar, one spoon of butter, and 200 milliliters of cream. So the first thing you will do is separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. You're gonna add three spoons of sugars to the egg white and three spoons of sugar to the cream. And in another container, you're gonna pour your cream. Then you're gonna whip the egg whites and you're gonna do the same with the cream until they get to this consistency. Then you're gonna melt the chocolate with the butter. Once it cools off, you are gonna add the chocolate to your egg yolks but you gotta make sure the chocolate is not too hot and you have to stir it quickly so the yolks don't cook in the process. Then, little by little, you're gonna add your egg whites and your cream to the mixture of the yolks and the chocolate. And you have to do it this way. You don't want to stir it normally because then you're gonna destroy the fluffy consistency. So you have to kind of fold them this way. After it's all done, everything you need to do is transfer your dessert to another nicer container and refrigerate it for a while.
and I can guarantee it's gonna be worth it. Thank you so much for watching today's vlogmas, guys. Let me know in the comments if you try any of the recipes that I shared with you today, or let me know what desserts and meals are traditional in your country for Christmas. I would love knowing that. Also, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!